Yeah, we're fine. Let's see where we are here. Going over here. Yeah, it looks like we're on. Oh, nice. I can actually hear some music going off. I think I can, I can, see, uh, I can see a picture. Ooh. Just our yeah. Mm -hmm. There we are. Ready to go? Oh, hey, Joel. Guess what's going on? I was so into our uh, beginning music that we're using now. Uh, I was just jamming, man. It, yeah, it seems like we came on pretty quickly. Yeah. Here. So, uh, guess what time it is? What time is it, Keith? It is. Uh, time once again for Smack and Jack Live here in lovely Southern Chester County yeah. on a beautiful day. It's just the clouds covered up, uh, but it is nice and it's okay, warm. Yeah. It's going to be like 70. It's going to be toasty like today. Yeah, very toasty. Got a whole bunch of stuff going on today. We got a slider. You're going to tell us what that's about. We got Heroes of Rats. We got Truth. Um, we got Jokes. We got Truths and Lies. We got Trivia Facts of the Day. Trivia Answers. Truth and Lies Answers. We got, what the heck does that say? Birthday minute. Birthday minute. Birthday we got so minute. much stuff yep. I can't even read it. So grab your cup of coffee, sit back, relax, enjoy. It's going to be a great half hour, maybe even thirty-five minutes. All right, here we'll we see go. See you in a minute. From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smacking Jack Live with your co-hosts Keith and Joel Wonderman. All right, so we're on, dude. Yeah, what is going on? Hey, we got a nice crowd going so far. I'm having a nice Karen, Karen, we haven't seen you in a while. How's it going? Uh, Barbara, Linda, Brad. We got a nice crew. We got a nice crew. Yay. Enjoying the coffee right. with us this morning. So, uh, exactly what is going on, Joel? All right. Well, uh, we got a great show. Um, I thought we'd talk a little bit more about our slider that we were talking about last week and, okay. and go over some frustrations with that. Uh, then we're going to go. Again, it's not hamburgers. <laughs> That's right. Not not uh, slider hamburgers. I was way off. Way or, off base uh, last week. Or roast beef sliders yeah, or anything right, like yes. that. Uh, then we have our brand new segment that we'll get to after that, our Heroes and Rats. Oh, yeah, okay. So we're interested to see how that goes because we don't know how it's going to go. Okay. Right? Yes. All right. So let's get right into it. Um, so in our learning curve today, let's talk a little bit about um, our, where are we here? <clears throat> the slider that we were working on last week. So you remember that um, uh, last week I was having issues making the slider... Um, fit the page the way we wanted it to. So right now on our uh, our web page, where is my product page? Okay, right now it looks like this. Okay. Okay, now one of the sources of my uh, frustration is that the preview looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see it there. The preview looks like that. See how round that button is? Right. Mm -hmm. And kind of small? Yes. Um, however, the finished product, the button looks like this. All right, which is not bad, okay? so. A little source of frustration. The other source of frustration that I talked about last week was trying to get this text over some. Slid over a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so no matter what I did over the course of the week, I spent a few hours trying to get that text moved over. I, I changed the margins, I changed the padding, I changed the size of the slider, I changed the size of that stinking picture there. Um, <laughs> nothing could get that text over. So there comes a time where you have to say, you know what, enough is enough. Yeah, it's good it, enough. It's gonna be that way. Yeah. That's the way it is. So that's the same thing that happened with the um, the the button here. So the, uh, let's see, let's go to this next one. It's, all right, see how small that button is there? It's, it, to me, it's a little bit more relative to the rest of the, okay, the picture, yes, okay? Yeah. Uh, back here, that's the size of the button. All right, now why is the button that big? Well, I, I had to change the button because instead of pressing this video here and taking you to a brand new page, right? I wanted it to be a, a pop-up, okay? So you click there and boom. Oh, nice, okay. Yeah. So there it is. Now again, this pop-up is, is good. Um, I, I could probably tweak this a little bit, um, but I'm okay with it. It works, it's functional, Okay. Um, not bad. Uh, but that's what I wanted. 
Um, but to get that pop-up to work, instead of using Thrive Leads, which I don't know if you recall from last, uh, what was it, like two or three weeks ago, we talked about Thrive Leads. Thrive Leads is a web, or I'm sorry, a WordPress plugin that um, you can build your opt-in pages and so forth, but it has to be anchored to your page. Okay, okay let me give you an example of what that is. If I can get to my incognito tab. All right, so then I'll go to Smack and Jack. Bam. Go to incognito. It, always come, it will always come up with everything you have there because it doesn't save cookies. So everything you oh. do. Okay. All right, so that's why we always get this except here. And in a second, see that across the top? That's a Thrive lead right there across the top. Okay. And it looks good. I like yeah, that. Yes. Okay. Um, however, since that is based on WordPress, I can't use it outside of WordPress, meaning the slider that I am using, um, even though it's a WordPress plugin, it is not based on, let's see, where am I going here? Close that up. Um, the, the slider is a plugin, so it's not based on WordPress. Okay. So my Thrive Leads won't work with that. Okay, so let's not get too winded here. So I had to go to my uh, lead pages. All right, so here's my lead pages. I'm not gonna tell you how I built this opt-in form, but this is a uh, conversion tool. And I go to publishing options, okay, publishing options. And this is how you decide how you want your pop-up to be published. Do you want it to be published as a text link when you press on a, uh, a word that pops up? Mm -hmm. Or do you want it to be a button link? Well, I want it to be a button link, all right? Now, so you get your, uh, you can uh, work with the roundness. Notice roundness here, so I, I have it rounded. Okay. Um, I actually got the color the way I want. I'm not gonna go through the color right now. I got the color to be white. I got the color of the text to be kind of that turquoise. Mm -hmm. um, and then you press code. You take this code, you copy the code, and you put it back into the text where this is. I'm not gonna show you that right now, but you have to go in and edit it and then pop, pop in the code. Okay. And you come up with a button. So that's what I think the button's supposed to that's look like. That's the preview. That's the preview. Yes. That's okay. what the button's supposed to look like. But when I go to my real page, oh, it uh, looks like that. Man, frustration, <laughs> frustration, frustration. <laughs> you know, so let me help me, uh, right? Good. So anyway, I am gonna leave it just the way it is. Yes. You know, it, it's good enough. I have to move on. So um, by the end of this week, um, keep my fingers crossed, every one of these pages will have a workable link. Okay. The button will be a little bit bigger than I want it to be, okay. um, but it, it will at least be done. Now the only other thing I want to do with the uh, product page is to add two more products here. Because as you can see, we have these guys here. These are all linked up and ready to go. Um, but I want to add two more products so it looks a little bit more uh, symmetrical. Page, yeah. mm -hmm. Is, that, is yep. that the word, symmetrical? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yep. Symmetrical. Um, so we have two more down here, okay? And then of course, there's our awesome uh, video up there that pops on every single time you come to the page all by itself. Okay. I nice. wanna work a little bit more on this background here, but that's, again, that's something that uh, I'll, I'll fix up later. Okay, so that's kind of our learning curve. Um, not much of a learning curve, just a source of frustration. I think the bottom line here is that sometimes you just gotta, you, you, you have to go with, with what you have Right. Don't worry about perfection. Right. Which uh, sometimes I tend to be that way. Yeah. I, I got to get it just right. And we're going to be old men. Not that we're not right now. <laughs> we'll be old men by the time I get. We're running out of time. Yeah. I mean, so, you have a little bit more time than so, I do. So, well, but, my, yeah. my point in getting all that done, I wanted to, I wanted to, um, I wanted to get things, you know, very presentable before I start paying for advertisement. Yes. Running to the site. You know, yeah. I want when people get there, I want them to see something mm -hmm. that was worth their time. Yeah, like, yes. You know. So. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Let me know what you think okay. there. Uh, good to see everybody online here. What do we got next? Key uh, let's do uh, heroes and rats. Heroes what is and this? rats. This is kind of a new segment. New Did segment. Do, yeah. Uh, yeah. So. What, so what? over the course of the week. Um, where every show, or if we can think of it, in every show, we're going to come up with a hero of the week and a rat of the week. Okay. Okay. So, our uh, we're going to start with the rat first because we'd like to, uh, yeah, you know, build up on, to the hero, the positive, yes. right? Okay. So let's take a look at our hero and rat. Oh uh, wait, wait, wait! Heroes and rats. Oh look at that! Heroes oh, and rats. Oh nice, boom, boom, nice. Boom, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. You think I'd have oh, this all that. done automated? But each time I do this, I'm clicking my finger on the picture. Very good. Very good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, All that right. That's nice. that's where we are. Kind of looks like me with a with those leotards. Anyway. Uh, All right. So we can close out this one. We can close out this. Uh, leave. Okay. So um, uh, we were thinking of a hero, or I'm sorry, a rat. Um, so one of my possibilities for rats would be 
Uh, and this is this is kind of just a jokingly rat one. But anyway, last week I uh, had a picture up. I don't know if we can see this. Oh, I, yes, I have yes. my little video up, right? And I got a comment from somebody uh, from Antoinette. Antonetta, uh, who's actually local here, not one of my Facebook friends, but I don't know how she saw this video. But the video says, you are so weird, what? And I remember seeing that, yeah. You are so weird, what? Audacity of people. Right, So, yes. So I don't know if you can see my reply on the screen there. My reply was, thanks Antonetta, I usually get that comment from my daughters. Thanks for watching. Okay, so that was, yeah. that was, that was a runner up for a rat of the week, yes, right? Okay, yes. And I will tag her on this video. Uh, the, the, the other runner up for the week, do I have it there? Uh, no, the other runner-up would have been our firing of beloved coach at St. Joe's, Phil Martelli. Right, okay. Um, he was at the um, St. Joe's University for 34 years, um, 24 years as a coach. He was fired um, by uh, the, the in administrators who have only been at St. Joe's for like a year. The, the new regime. The I new guess. regime, yeah. yeah. And uh, not really taking into everything that he's done for not only the, the school itself, but for the students. Um, for the community and like you know how big of a icon he is now yeah he's you know the, they haven't had winning seasons uh, or great seasons but anyway so there's another runner-up that, that was actually going to be our rat of the week but then I started researching basketball okay college basketball in general and I came up with a couple pages that showed us the um, salaries of some of these coaches salaries of these coaches while we have hundreds and thousands of people in debt, uh -huh. and the price of going to college is just, just skyrocketing out of reach year. for, yep. okay? Yep. So hold your breath, folks. So they've gotta be making, I'm gonna say, college basketball coach. Yeah, what do you think? Probably gonna be making 75 to $100,000 a year, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they get free yeah. travel and all yeah. that. Yeah, so you know, and if they're really good, maybe two hundred, three hundred thousand okay. a year. All right, we'll all give right. them that, okay? So what do you think? We got any guesses out there? All right, for our um, college basketball salaries. So here we go. Hold your breath, folks. Here we go. So this is this. I think it's this year. No, that was. Uh, all right, this is actually 2000. No, I'm sorry. This is this is this year. Yep, yep. All yep. right, Kentucky. This guy, John John Calipari. I forget how you say his name. Um, yeah. He's making okay, so that's he's most making of it. nine million two hundred seventy six thousand dollars this year. The wow. coach college basketball. Wow. Okay, Duke, coach nine there million. seven million dollars this year. Uh, Michigan State. Where is Villanova? Villanova. Jay Wright. Jay Wright's making three million dollars this year, almost four wow. million dollars. Okay, unfortunately, they got knocked out of the tournament yes. the other day. Um, yeah, and, and how many of these people are going to the Final Four? I know one or two of them are. Um, well, that's... Uh, and yeah, okay. So let's take a look at... What what are some of the other, like... Uh, say, give me what, one more second before okay, we get yeah. that, because uh, I forgot this one here. Some of these coaches are making $372,000 per win. Per win, right? $185,000 per win. That was back in 2014. This is an old sheet here. Okay. okay so your question was what? Uh, I don't know, like a professor. Now, I'm not saying these people aren't talented and smart and all that kind of stuff, but like a professor that's got to go to continuing education all the time. And these people are college university professors. I would imagine they're among the smartest people on the planet. Right. Uh, do we have anything? What kind of money are they making? Well, let's, let's find out here. All right. So highest paid professors. We have, I'm just gonna scroll down through here. Some of these people are very top in the world. Yep. Uh, all right, so here are this guy, David Silver. Number one. This yeah, is... Number one, making $4 million a year. Okay, so that, that is a lot of money. But this guy is like number one in the world on this topic. Uh, Dermatology right. and pathology. Yeah, yeah, that sounds, that's med okay. medical, yep. Number two, this guy is making three million. Okay, so the number two guy is making three million. Number three, making 2.6. Now, a lot of these guys are, uh, Invest, investor uh, and have business degrees and those those sorts of things, right? Uh, this guy's making 1.1. 1. Uh, 1. 1. Number five is at a million. And then we're dropping way off. Number six is 709,000. Yeah, a lot of money. Bit of a slacker, huh? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> a lot of money, yeah. Number seven is a 700,000. Wow. Number eight, yeah. five, six, six, nine. Number 10 at 493,000 dollars. You know, relative to what the chart we just saw? Yes. Okay, I'm going to call our rats of the week 
the whole college sporting yes scheme and right it's, it's a yeah if there's any kids watching get into sports yeah. don't, don't worry about anything else be a Just, basketball coach yes right be a basketball wow, coach all right so well, how about, but who's our hero who's our hero of the week uh, well i don't know let's let's, let's, find, let's out. find out and i tell you what this guy is not this making... bit was getting so long i forgot that we had a hero <laughs> hero of the week this guy's not making nine million dollars this year i guarantee it no no okay, he's not so no. We he's have local, isn't he? A local guy. Yet, firefighter critically burned in Delaware walks out of hospital. So, uh, where is the picture of this guy? Sorry, of course, it didn't come up. Um, his name is yeah, was um, there last night. Dave Smiley. Okay. Lives well, in Westchester. Chef. Okay. Um, he was in a fire, He, you know, firefighter. You can see the picture of that in Delaware uh, about two weeks, just over two weeks ago. His foot fell through the floor, and then his whole, he just fell right through. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah, so he had some major burns, and actually he looks pretty good. I think we did see a picture of him right there. That's him yeah, right okay. there. Um, he actually yeah. sounds good. He got some major burns on his hands, um, but he says he's going back. He's he's a part time or he's a volunteer firefighter in Delaware, and I believe that he's a paid firefighter in uh, somewhere else in the area. Okay. Uh, so that's okay, what he's, he's twenty three years old. Yeah. Uh, Westchester uh, resident. So yeah, yeah. Round of applause. Thank you, Dave. Very good. Yes. Uh, is that his yeah, name? Thank you for Sorry. your service. Yeah. yeah. Yes, so, all right. He's not making $9 million. He's not making year. $9 million well, anyway. this year. Okay. So, that is our heroes. Good. Very good. And rats. Yeah, like heroes that. and rats. Oh. All right. Very good. Okay. So, let's get to our. You know oh. what, folks? No <laughs> jokes today. No jokes today. You know why? Because no we were so busy, I couldn't even get to them. Oh, no. Yeah, man. Wah, wah, where's our <laughs> trombone, our sad <laughs> trombone right there? Yeah. Oh, wow. Sorry. Oh. Sorry, man. No jokes today. Oh. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Well, the show's okay. going to be funny enough. Let's move on. Right. Truth and lies. Okay, truth and lies. So I see uh, somebody was really interested in the truth and lies things. Uh, I'm going to kind of do it as like a, uh, like a, uh, uh, what do I do? The, 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 uh, but anyway, it's, it's going to be a little bit different than last week. I got three three truths, and one of them is not a truth. So, uh, this day uh, in 19, I can't remember, 1982. Uh, 1982, I think it was, Ronald Reagan was shot in the chest by John Hinckley Jr. Remember that? Mm. Okay. Yeah, I remember when that happened. Okay. Uh, uh, 1982 as well. The fourth space shuttle uh, mission Challenger returned to Earth. The, the fourth space shuttle mission, um, and the name was Challenger, uh, returned to Earth this day in uh, 1982. Okay. Um, also, uh, in this day, and I don't have the uh, don't have the date. I was running a little late, but anyway, uh, 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 U.S. was pur uh, purchased Alaska for seven thousand dollars in this. Oh. Um, and, and today, today, in, and uh, in some year, uh, yeah, in some year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so go over that. Looked a little have... bit. Pretty, pretty. Okay, uh, Ronald Reagan was shot. Uh, okay, uh, this this day was this day or this month? I'm pretty sure. So it was that today. that could be true. Could uh, be false. Yeah, I, I don't know. You know, it's so long ago. Was it? He was a president, I think. President Ronald Reagan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or a movie actor. I can't remember. I think he acted his way through the whole thing. Uh, 1982, uh, the fourth space shuttle. Uh, mission um, and the space shuttle. It was the Challenger was uh, safely uh, returned Return to Earth. Earth. Okay, and then uh, U.S. purchases purchase Alaska for seven thousand dollars, known as Seward's Fire. Okay, uh, all right. So, so you need to let one us of know. Those, yeah, we're gonna let that slide for a little bit. Which and, one uh, was not true? Yes. Okay. Which one is not true? All right. You want to cruise out the music uh, yeah. there? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks there, Chief. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All oh, right. Yeah, so we got a lot of new uh, stuff. This, this show's getting more packed every I'll week. I'll tell you. All right. So let's get uh, on to our trivia. Uh, actually, yeah, let's go to our trivia questions. And uh, and then we'll go back. All right. All right. So okay. which Korean martial art literary, literally means the way of the foot and fist? Oh, yeah. Be ready to type in, folks. Yes, type right. in these yes, answers yes, here. Yes, Sorry yes. about that. So give us your answers for these. Which Korean martial art literally means the way of the foot and fist? Okay. Mm. Mm. All right. The change in a wave's frequency 
when the source and observer are in motion relative to one another is known as what? Okay, the change in wave's frequency when the source and observer are in motion relative to one another is known as what? Right? Goodness sakes. You want to take this one? Yes. In India, what is the most popular color choice for a bridal dress? Hmm. Hmm. India color. All right. Okay. All right. Shown before a baseball game in 1941, the world's first television commercial advertised what product? Mm, that's mm -hmm. a good one. What good. product? Okay, originally from Quebec. What food comes from the local French slang word for a mess? Okay, and I know they meant mm. to capitalize French there. Yes. All right. Mm, okay. And which European country has the longest coastline? Longest coastline. Oh. Mm. Let's... And what is the seventh and final novel of the Harry Potter series? Oh. Okay. All right. Quickly, okay. Uh, Korean martial art literary term. Which one? Uh, Waze frequency is known as what? In India, what's a popular choice for a bridal dress? Uh, what advertisement was before the baseball game in 1941? From Quebec, what food comes, f uh, actually were a slang word for a mess. Which European country has the longest coastline? What is the seventh and final novel of the Harry Potter series? Okay. We do not know yet. All right. So let's get uh, back to our one slide here for just a minute before we go to before we go to our facts, facts of, the of the day, day because yes, yeah. we forgot to scroll back. We don't want to give away that last one. Uh oh. Okay. All right. So. All right. Facts of the day. Let's. We got some good facts. We today. do have good facts. Is everybody folks, still so uh, stay tuned. Yes. Stay tuned. How's the coffee? Is everybody's <laughs> coffee good? Let's hear about everybody's coffee. All right. Where are we at? <laughs> Today's facts of the day. Facts of the day brought to you good. by Big Brother Keith. Yes. All right. Here we go. Uh, snake wine is an alcoholic beverage produced by. Infusing whole snakes in rice wine or grain alcohol, which is considered an important curative according to traditional Chinese medicine. Man, take a breath, wow, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> that oh, crazy. Oh. That is, that uh, is kind of crazy. Uh, all right. Uh, Moving anyway, on. Uh, too much coffee and stress can produce higher levels of hallucination. Yeah. So we need people to drink more coffee while watching our show. Yes. And I feel like <laughs> I've been hallucinating half of my life. Of, Whoa, what is going on here? So that has uh, been the issue. Wow, huh? no okay, kidding. moving on. Uh, data scientists analyzed 10,222 words to discover the happiest word in the English language. It is it's laughter. Laughter! <laughs> <laughs> so just say laughter. <laughs> we don't have a uh, laughter. We don't, oh, yes, we do. You got volume, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. The average Brit will spend one year and eight months of their life in a bad mood. I don't believe that, Tom. <laughs> nah. I really you know don't. What I, I think I have a little Brit yes, in me, yeah, actually, right? Yeah, I think so, too. Yes. Uh, if Prince Charles becomes king, he will be the oldest monarch ever to ever crowned in Britain. Wow. You know, it says if. Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, mom's going to outlive him. Poor I guy. Think I feel so, bad. Yeah. Though. Uh, All right. Okay. What, uh, what, uh, Disney World is the second largest producer of explosives in the United States. The first being the United States Department of Defense. Isn't that something? That's second pretty crazy. only to Yeah, that is the pretty government. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Fortunately, they're fireworks. Yes, right. Drinking very hot beverages increases your risk of developing cancer. Ooh. So uh, now, Myron, I hope you're watching that because my dear friend Myron, he will make a cup of coffee out of the, the those, what are the cured things? Keurig, yeah. Immediately takes it over the microwave. It's not hot enough. He's got to he's got to <laughs> nuke the Good bejesus Lord. out of it. So, well, uh, I will say, no threat of that happening here. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we got our coffee, and it's just all right. Here uh, we go. In Italy, the Disney movie uh, Moana Moana had to change its title to Oceana because of a famous porn star with the same name. Oh in Italy. no! Oh, it's, it's, it's not, isn't that uh, 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 yeah. Poor Moana. Yeah. She thought she made it big. Next thing you know, she had to change the... Uh... Anywho. Okay. What else we got here, Joel? Is that... Oh, that's about it? Is that... Yeah, that was, that was okay. it. For, okay. Uh... Very good. Very good. That was uh, it for our trivia. Applause. All right. So, shall we get to Some our trivia answers? Going. And then okay. we're going to come back to your truth and lies. That was facts of the day. What that did we was, just do? <laughs> that was facts of the day. Trivia <laughs> answers. All right, folks, got to keep up with this here. Oh, my goodness sakes. Okay, uh, trivia right, answers. Back and Let's... forth, back and forth. Trivia answers. All right, going to the back. <laughs> we have some answers yeah, we here. Have, we, we have Doppler. Uh... We have cigarettes. We have fries with cheese. Um, 
I I have to uh, let let me back up here. Well, we do have a uh, we do have some response. I have to back up here, folks. Let me. Rich is on. Yeah. Give me a. Give me just a minute for a little narrative uh-huh. here. But no jokes. All right, so I, I normally don't say a whole lot about what goes on in my classroom at school and so forth. Right. So uh, <laughs> I saw somebody wrote in uh, cigarettes here. Um, <clears throat> so I was demonstrating brass instruments yesterday to a class, and I had the, the, the baritone horn mouthpiece, the French horn mouthpiece, okay, and um, the trumpet mouthpiece sitting on the table. And I, and I, you know, I said, all right, just looking at these, tell me some differences are some things that you see you don't see because we just talked about woodwinds the you know last week so while I was looking for you know there's no reed on the brass mouthpiece the right. trumpet doesn't need a reed mm-hmm. uh, different sizes one's a little bit deeper one's you know and so forth <laughs> so one girl I can't exactly remember what she says she said, it looks like um, uh, like when when you smoke it looks like one of those things I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh I, and then some other like I had no idea what to say here. So, some other ch- child chimed in. Oh yeah, like a pipe or something. Oh, I, and I said, oh yeah, like like maybe granddad or grandma, you know, has a pl- or granddad oh, has a pipe hilarious. or something like that. I literally had no idea what to say. And <laughs> remind everybody, what age bracket are your kids? That was third grade. Yes. I was, uh, and this this sweet little girl yeah. just said it just hit me like boom. I was like, what are you talking about? Oh. Uh, <laughs> so, but you know, out of the minds of kids, you know, it reminded her maybe of you know maybe you know somebody smoking a pipe or something like that, and uh, I, or I, mo- I, uh, mom and dad on the weekends. Uh, or, oh, well, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, so anyway, it was it was a very cute moment that I had uh, a loss of words to yes. uh, to do anything with. That, all that, right, so where are we? Um, all right, so back to trivia answers. All right, which, which Korean? Go ahead. Which Korean martial art literally? <laughs> Literally means literally means the way of foot and fist. fist okay, I, yeah, I, I was going to say uh, karate. Did anybody say karate? Uh, taekwondo. Oh, okay. Taekwondo. 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 Ah, yeah. Taekwondo. Yeah. Yeah. taekwondo. All right. Yes. Did anybody get that? All right. Let's it's move the, on here. Yeah. Uh, the change in a wave's frequency when the source and observer are in motion relative to one another another is known as what? I was going to say Doppler. And I see, I think, uh, did Richard? Yeah, you put down Doppler too. Okay, so we're thinking along the same because that's the only one that I know. The Doppler, Doppler effect. effect. Yeah. Wow. Doppler effect. That's okay. the effect that when uh, you hear an ambulance coming down the. Right. And it is like really loud, really loud. And then as soon as it passes, it's like. Right. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like a boom. And the frequency. Yeah, yeah. okay. okay. That's, I never knew that's what it was called. Huh. In India, what is the most popular color choice for a bridal dress? What are you going to say? Uh, I'm going to say. Uh, or, uh, Orangey. Okay, I was thinking orange too. How tamarind. about I, I, I go with brown? Okay. Okay, let's see here. Oh, red. Red, okay. Okay. okay Neither yeah. one of us are on board there. Yeah, huh. All right, oh, shown before yeah. a baseball game in 1941, the world's first television commercial advertised what product? I think maybe, Brad, you were saying cigarettes. Is that what you were oh. thinking there? Oh. Bull of watches. watches. No wow. kidding. How huh. about that? Well, they, right. went, they went high end, right off the... Uh... Yeah, right. No fooling around there. Originally from Quebec, what food comes from the local French slang word for a mess? Uh, and I think... Uh, somebody put in French fries? All right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, answer is... What is that? Poutine? Oh, poutine. Uh, where do you see it? Right poutine. there. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's French fries with, uh, like, meat green. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, Joel just had a private moment there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, really? uh, it's, it's French fries with uh, gravy on top of it and uh, cheese curds. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't really notice. All that. right, I had that for which, the first time at the at the <coughs> Sterling Pig last week. Which European country has the longest coastline? I'm going to say Italy. Uh, let's find out. Norway. Oh, Norway. Norway. All right. Wow. What is the seventh and final novel of the Harry Potter series? Did anybody come up with this? Because I was going to ask my girls before I left. Um, yeah, good job, Richard. Um, ah, it's not the Goblet of Fire. Oh, it's um, fries with cheese. Okay. Ah, let's see here. Deathly Hollows. Right. Okay. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. Man, what a. That's okay. Man, I wish I knew how to write. Yeah, boy, yeah. Man. She was an unemployed. She was a school teacher, wasn't she? I think, uh, uh, I think so, yeah. I mean, I wish I knew how to write well. Right. You know? So, okay. What's that bring very us good, to? Very good. Truth very and good. lies, my friend. Okay, yeah, Truth, Truth and lies. Truth and lies. We'll get the answers here. Uh, <laughs> Ronald Reagan was shot by John Hinckley Jr. 
Uh, you know what? Do we have any responses? That, we for actually this yet? do. We have. I see a couple of. Uh, okay, so we're saying the space shuttle Challenger. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Um, 1982, the Space Shuttle Mission Challenger returns safely to Earth, and U.S. Uh, United States purchases Alaska for seven thousand dollars, known as the Seward's Folly. Well, what do you think, Joel? I'm going to go with the Challenger. <clears throat> yes, because I think that's uh, the one that did not come back to Earth. Uh, correct. Well, was it? I can't remember. But anyway, uh, 1982, it was the third mission, and it was uh, the Space Shuttle Columbia. Ah. See so, what I did there? I just so changed, changed things. Yes. You yes. changed so, all the facts. Uh, yes, yeah, so I think Barbara got it right. Uh, somebody else, I think we had two things. See why you yeah, Brad, Brad trouble and reading, Barbara, yes, folks. Yeah. Uh, I write it down. And I, <laughs> I mean, who can, I mean, if you hold it this way, it looks the same as if you hold it, it that does. way. It does. Well, it's, it's readable both <laughs> ways. But Well, there you go. Uh, that was my first okay. shot at the true, true All right. We'll work on it again yeah. for next week. But anyway, I, bravo! I, Thanks, Steve. I didn't man. think it was too bad. That was good. That was good. All right. So, truth and lies. Truth and lies. Okay. So we don't need to do any more about the heroes and rats because okay. we were we were going to ask if uh, if anybody has heroes and rats for yourself. So, um, in future shows, uh, you are more than happy or more than welcome. Yes. To. Uh, give us your heroes and rats of the week. Okay. 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 So yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a good be idea. Be sure to. Yeah to uh, request that as we go. So I think it's probably time that we get into the birthday minute and get ourselves out of here because yes. we're right up against 946. It's been uh, about yeah. a half hour. I, I, so I how I about we get going? Okay. You ready for the birthday uh, music uh, intro? Uh, I am, am right uh, there. There we okay. go. And now it's oh, time. Give me a second here. No. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> birthday minute. Birthday Well, I'll tell you what. The term, <laughs> it's either my lungs or these things are just wearing out. The term my well-oiled goodness. machine will uh, never become no. cliche it's around here. It's not synonymous <laughs> with the smack and jack. <laughs> but you know what? We are anything but a well-oiled yeah, machine. Well-oiled. Yeah. All right, so what do we got over there, Keith? Okay, well, that, we got a couple of... Uh, almost readable sheet that yeah, you have there. Of, uh, uh, born this day in 1930. Come back in the picture here, brother. Born this day in 1930, John Asson. You know who John Asson was? Uh, no, I do not. The Adams Family. Oh. The Adams Family dad, uh, I don't know what his name was on the Adams Family. Uh, also, uh, 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 I can't remember her name. Anyway, uh, MC Hammer was born this day in 19... Remember ah. uh, the big balloon, uh, Can't Touch This? No, it wasn't uh, Wasn't Can't Touch. Anyway, uh, Eric Clapton, born this day, old Blue Eye, Blue Slohan, I think his name was. Okay. Uh, born this day, 1945, and Vincent Van Gogh. Go. Born this day in uh, 1853. Yeah. Vincent Van Gogh okay. led a very troubled life, and uh, his paintings are, are well-renowned uh, even today. Quite so, reflective of that. <laughs> yes. Uh, what do we got uh, a little closer to him, Joel? Our friends okay. and family. So we got a little uh, rhythm going over uh, there, Keith. Yes, we do. Uh, for the birthday do we have minute. A birthday drums. What's this? Oh, we already did that. God almighty. There's oh, just so my many. gosh. All right, Woo! so starting today, happy birthday, Michelle. Today is the 30th of March, and we say happy birthday to Michelle. Happy birthday, Michelle. Right, yay, let's move on. All right, tomorrow, Sunday the 31st, we say happy birthday to Jen and Samantha. Yay, happy Woo! birthday, happy Samantha. We'll probably seeing you tomorrow. All right, Monday, April Fool's Day. Nobody. Wow. Yeah. All right. Tuesday the second, we have Jerry, Jody, and Mark. Happy birthday, guys! On Tuesday, on Wednesday, we celebrate birthdays for Joe and Nicole. Happy birthday happy on Wednesday birthday. the third. Yeah. Thursday the fourth, we say happy birthday to Kevin. Happy birthday, Kevin. And on Friday the fifth, we have happy birthday to Kim and Bob. We hope you have a great Friday. Happy birthday, everybody. The happy birthday. Yeah. And then next Saturday. Nobody. Nobody. Yeah, some, in the that? entire listening, viewing world, nobody born next month. Nobody. Next, uh, uh, Saturday. Next, Saturday. next Saturday. Yeah. So, uh, happy birthday to everybody having a birthday this week. Yeah, so very good. We can very go ahead and get yep, ourselves yep, yep, out yep. of the birthday minute. Okay. So, find the outro. Ready? And there we go. Go. And that was the Smack and Jack birthday minute. Birthday minute. Birthday minute.
I do okay. like our music. Uh, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's uh, pretty it good. It really fits. It yeah. is passable, yeah. we'll say, right? Uh, All right. Well, so, that's, that was that's a, the show. Yeah. Now, now, tell us what's going on next week, Keith. Uh, well, next week, uh, Wednesday, I am going uh, with my dear friends to Greece. Wow. And I will be away for a week and a half, so the next two World weeks. traveler. Yeah, All of a so maybe I'll do some check-ins. Maybe I'll send them to you, and you can do something and send them out. Mm. I'm trying to figure out. Uh, I might even get Skype. I will hold my Skype breath yes. for all this to happen. Um, he's not going to hold anything. <laughs> <laughs> he might not even hold my spot for the show. I come back next week and there's somebody else dressed in a dumb hat and uh, you know, like this, like one of like one of the kids from school or something like that. <laughs> right, right, yeah. very good. Good idea, good uh, idea. Well, as it turns so, yeah. out, next Saturday. I am actually running in the 5K down oh, Philadelphia, right. yes. so yeah, I am unavailable yeah. as well. Okay, so this that, worked out what perfectly. is that? That is the uh, this is the hot chocolate 5K. Okay, and uh, I'll be running that with with Stephanie and the girls. Okay, oh, I, I think both girls. Okay, uh, Brad and Lynn will be down there. Okay, um, and uh, this will be my second 5K. I mean, oh, it's been great. a year since I did the first. Yeah. One. Now, did you go last? <laughs> did you yes, do it last year? I did year? do it last year. Yeah. So Linda and Brad didn't do it last. Correct. Year. Okay. All right. I thought it was the other way around. So okay, uh, this is my great. second 5K. Yeah. I'm hoping I can get through it. Good. I think, I think I'll be okay. So yeah. uh, it good. turns out well that you're going away. You're going to be in Greece. I'm going to be in a greasy part of Philadelphia. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I will all be. I'll be relaxing and Joel will be running. Yes. And then the following week I won't be. I'll be coming back on that Saturday, but it'll be late. So, yeah. So uh, we're going to be a couple weeks here. A hiatus folks, for a couple of weeks. With, so. Without Smack and Jack, what are you all going to do? Uh, you know, there, you can always go on YouTube and watch all our uh, past shows, yep. and mm -hmm. you can also get out and see the world, you know? Yep, take this half hour and yes. do something worthy. <laughs> something <laughs> worthwhile. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we better get going. Uh, we got yes, some yes. outro uh, music going on We got some now. outro as soon as I find it. Do, 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 do. Should be the very last one, dude. Ah, there we go. I tell you, you know, <laughs> right. it's even set up. <laughs> set up so Once again, thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even a caveman can do it. Uh, all right. Not. So anyway, uh, yeah. thanks for joining us. Thanks very much. Yeah. Once again, uh, you deserve a thought of your own. And please, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. And thanks for stopping by. See you in a few weeks. So thanks for stopping by to learn, laugh, and live. We'll catch you later. Oh, okay. yeah. You deserve a thought of your own. I think I'm supposed to say that. Again. Yeah. All right. See you guys. See you later. Jack up your ego, smack down, and the face